two of your aunts uh, what brand names you know, they should be a multinational company, right? Not just in your country. Check their web page. Do you think their web page is adapted for different cultures? For example, languages and so on. Then, what do you think is the best one? Well, you know some famous companies, right? You're checking about BMW. more than two websites and compare them. Which one do you prefer? <coughs> if it opens up in the Korean one, is it easy to change it to English? Is it easy to find your own? Or change it to Russian? <coughs> This is at the very end of the culture of one system. It doesn't matter, you can just look here, right? This is the right page of multinational companies. Famous companies. What famous companies do you know? Hmm? Okay, and you check the web, go on Google and check IKEA's homepage. What company is this? Apple? <coughs> BMW's global web page, this is automatically went to the Korean language. Then just try .com, change to .com instead of .co.kr. Is it easy then to find another language or another country? Or what do you think? Here we have national websites, right? And then you can select your country or region. Thank you. 
So you can compare it to another website. You might think it's not very good. So just take two more minutes, compare the websites, and choose one which you think is the best one, and why, why is it the best one. some different countries, is the layout the same or did they change the layout for another country or is it just the same just with the language different, do they have different kind of advertising for different countries or different areas? So when I ask you, you're ready to answer, okay? So discuss why is, which company's website is, did you like, why? Okay. So, uh, Jana, 
Which uh, website did you like? Um, I opened Apple website, also Zara and Mark Cosmetics. And I like the first two on um, Apple. Um, has a very simple and beautiful site. And it is uh, um, very easy to change language. Also, Zara has a simple site. And I like that when I entered this site, they immediately offered me to change language. What language do I prefer? So, and it is easy Which one offered you to change language? Zara. Okay. Um, and I don't like the uh, site of my cosmetics because it is very bright and uh, I can't find how to change language. Also, um, pictures are changing very fast and it, it disturbs your... Um, I don't know how to say it. So, I don't like this site. Okay. Um, I think the best one is Apple. Mm -hmm. um, it is simple and um, that's it. Is Apple the same? Does Apple give you the choice of choosing your country or your language? Uh, yes, uh, but it is here. Uh, Does it have a very similar website if you choose a different country or it's different? It's the, the same. It's the same, just the language has changed? Okay. And uh, Larissa, okay. uh, what about I, you? <laughs> uh, I have a site, some websites with the uh, Little Island College of Edinburgh and the HEC. And uh, I like HEC site because it's very simple too. Uh, you can uh, find fast uh, new models of telephones and so on. Uh, but I don't find a way can I, I didn't find a way can I change the language. Um, What's uh, the name of the company? HC. HC? HTC. I don't know. I got mobile. HTC. Ah, HTC. Okay. And then um, I like um, the side of behind the colors of it because it's uh, very simple and beautiful. Sides of Puma, I don't like. So why do you prefer the United Colors of Benetton? I, uh, it's very simple to find uh, the clothes for women, men and so on. Mm. Can you find it in Russian easily? Um, repeat the question please. Can you find the Russian language version? No, no, I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know where I can find it. It's not easy to find the Russian language one. Is, is that company big in Russia? Is the United Colors of Benetton big in Russia? Is it famous in Russia? Yes? Uh, I see. Okay, then let's look at the next exercise. So, uh, Google Nike and human rights violations. And you can also Google Nike and corporate values. Okay, and compare them. Let's just take five minutes for this exercise. So, just we can Google, right? Go to Google, Google Nike and human rights violation. And then we can also Google Nike and corporate, corporate values. Or we can go to Nike's homepage and look for their corporate values. Do you understand the verb Google? To Google is a verb in English. Go to Google and type in the things, and press enter. It's not easy to find their corporate values from their website, then just Google Nike corporate values. Okay. So here you can find Nike sustainability or company mission statement, company mission statement, that kind of thing. Okay, 
is also by some proper values. find easily on the website just Google uh, Google Nike corporate values. You can go into the website anyway. Take a couple of minutes. We haven't checked the human rights. We need to check about the human rights now.
you tell us what is Nike's corporate values or mission statement or CSR, that kind of thing? Sorry, I haven't got the information. What about the human rights violations? <coughs> what um, what her, uh, worker rights violations? Workers' rights? Yeah. What happened with the workers' rights? Um, the, the company... Um, violations of workers' rights. What kind of problem with the workers' rights? In what country or what kind of problem? In, in Malaysia. Mm Where the foreign workers from? They didn't say. In, in Malaysia, Malaysia. Where were they working? Yeah. So, what country were the foreign workers from? Mm -hmm. Doesn't say. No. Okay. So anyway, human trafficking is the people go illegally from one country to another. They're trafficked. Okay, and then did anybody find the nice corporate vision statement or corporate values? Nike uh, seeking to our greatest responsibility as a global company. So they have responsibility as a global company, yes? Yes. Um, the vision statement? Yes. Um, it should be to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. Bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world? Yes. yes. And then um, there are several uh, corporate values. Mm -hmm. So transparency is an asset, no there is. Transparency. Uh, collaboration enables systemic change. Collaboration. Every challenge and risk is an opportunity. Uh, design allows you to prototype the future rather than retrofit the past. Mm -hmm. uh, to make real change, you have to be a head Okay, so there, we can see here there's a diff transparency means we want to show everything to everybody, right? Yes. Or uh, see all the information. So they have some problems before in other countries with <coughs> maybe underage workers, that kind of allegation <coughs> from their suppliers, that kind of thing. So we talked about the ethics in the cultural part, so the social responsibility. So the companies should try to make sure that their values are matching the reality, right? When they have some values, they can follow through and make sure that working well. Okay. So Nike had that problem a few years ago, so it made some changes to improve the company. So then let's move on to the, uh, we were studying about political and economic environment. We said today we we're going to do a country risk analysis. So I asked you guys to think about 
what country you're going to study for your final assignment, right? I said it's a good idea to do that country, right? For the now. So choose a country, right? Have you chosen a country for your final assignment yet? No? You have an idea? But you have to be first to tell me because two groups can't do the same country, right? So choose a country, look at these links, and look at uh, some other links which are available in the country notebook. Uh, here, the country notebook is if you go to the website, in the final assignment, you click on here, country notebook, then it opens this link, and then you click on interactive maps here. Okay? Then uh, this gives you resources. So if I click on Asia, it gives me some places where I can find information about different links where I can find information about Asia. Okay? This is also useful for your final project. For example, the newspaper or so on. If it's China, Japan, different links for each country. But today we can focus more on these ones. <laughs> Nation Master, Trading Economics, Ec the Economist Intelligence Unit, I said you need to, you can get some information, but to get further information you need to subscribe. You don't have to pay money, but just register. And then the CIA Factbook. So you, you can download this uh, PPT, right, from the political and economic, legal and economic environment on the website, download the PPT. Then, if you open these websites, like I did, how to open them, the easy way is uh, <coughs> make, the, make the PPT full screen. If you make the PPT full screen, then you can just click on the link and it opens. Okay? If the PPT is not full screen, you can't, you have to copy and paste. So it's easier to go down here, make the full screen, okay? And then click on the link, each link, and then it will open. Easier. So I've already done that here. So you don't have to like them on Facebook, right? But here is Nation Master. We can compare countries on anything, okay? So we want to find GDP. Here is economy stats. This is a popular one, GDP, GDP per capita. Okay? They have 305 con countries, uh, 43 country groups. So here we can go into category, crime, economy, education, labor. Okay? So say we're interested in the economy, we can click on economy. Okay? Then the statistic, what statistic are we interested in? So we can see a list of the economic statistics here. Okay? For example, the debt, that kind of thing, foreign indirect investment, GDP. Let's say we click on GDP. Right? Then we can check about the compare the different countries. Uh, GDP. So They also have the debt, how much country money does the country own. But you can see we have different ways, different companies have different ways of, of doing that. Uh, so are you actually using this? I'm just going to use the GDP here on this one here. It's under this economy stats, it's easier. So, why this problem? Nice. Okay. GDP per capita. So we can see that per capita is better than just GDP because it gives uh, the number for the 
person, right? So we can see the list here of the countries. So you can find your the country you're looking for with GDP per capita, at least all the countries. And then at the end, it tells us where the uh, where they get the information, right? So we can see the different things. So we can find information here on Nation Master, different types of information. Trading economics, we can also find information if we go to the country. Here we can see GDP. This is total, not per capita. But we can go country, choose our country. Indicators, here are a lot of economic indicators we can check. It's a little bit easier to use. Uh, the EIU, we have the uh, country risk. Click on any country, we have country in here. Let's say I think it's Brazil, right? Then it makes a different report of Brazil. Summary, politics, economy, risk. If we see this triangle here, I think that means you need to register first. So if you registered, you could get more information, right? So we need to register to get some of these. Additional subscription required is the triangle thing, right? Well, I can get your business environment without the So anyway, we can see that we can register and get more information or we can just look at the general information here Okay Then we have the CIA World Factbook made by the CIA. This gives more general information about the country so you can select your country from here, say, uh, again we can select Brazil. And it tells us the flag and so on, the geography, right? People and society, government, economy. We're more interested in the economy and the politics. Right? People and society, government is related to the politics, military. So if we take on the economy in Brazil, tells us about their economy, makes a report of their GDP and industries, unemployment rate. Okay. So what I want you to do is uh, make just a short report on the country, economic environment, okay. and then you're going to present to the class here. So we can base it on the EIU data or any other data. So make a short report on the political and economic environment in the country. So what is the political and economic environment like in the country at the moment? Okay, so we're thinking about kind of risk for the countries. So the EIU is the main one we're going to use. Okay, we can also use the other ones to help us. So let's start that now. If you have any question, you can ask me. So you can work together as two people. You can work with your partner, so choose one country, you can divide the task, task up between the two people. Or you can use three people if you're sitting next to three people. Or you three guys can do it together, just choose a country, find some data, make a short report. So we're just going to take ten minutes to do this, right? Just a short report from the information that's already available on these sources. So here, if you want, you need to download, or else you can just look at the links here and open the link right www.eiu.com www.trainingit.cia.gov okay. Nobody has told me a country yet. Yes. Yes. 
Okay, so a group has already chosen the United States. This group has gone through the United States for the final So we're not doing this question, we're just doing making the report, like we'll do the other question later. We're just making a report about the countries, economic and political risk. You don't have to use these sources either, if you want you can Google economic and political risk United States, right? Well I just recommend that you can use the EIU, especially the EIU. We also looked at the Euro money. Euro money could also use. You need to make this into the full screen and then you can click on the links. Yes? Do we have to Use EIU.com to answer making a political and economic risk. What is the political and economic risk in that country? Yes, so that's why I asked in the last class to do that before the class because it takes time to go. You, don't, you can get some information without registering, right? Like, like, you can use this one because we have this without registering. Yeah, Thank you. 
chances that the country will not repay its debt, but included in that kind of risk is economic and political risk. So give some score or rating and help. Using the euro money, yes. and nowadays 
euro zone is very weakness than US dollar because of this financial crisis. Okay, the QE, right? So the euro currency is getting weaker. Yes. Is that good or bad for the French economy? What do you think? Their currency is weaker. Is that good or bad for French exporting companies? Good news or bad news for exporting companies uh, in France? Very good news because other country person uh, more than uh, more by than. What about if I'm a Korean company selling something in France, importing into Europe? Is that good or bad news for me? The euro is very weak. Bad news. Bad news. My product will be more expensive, right? Yes. The euro changed against the dollar by about 30% last year, so it's a big change. We can see that Chanel in Korea, they reduced the price of their handbag by about 20 to 30% last week. It was in the news, right? So now the Chanel handbag doesn't cost $6,000, it costs just $4,500, right? Yes. So I can buy one, yes. eventually. I've been dreaming about buying one. No, I, don't, I won't buy my handbag. But <coughs> anyway, the point is that we can see the different risk caused by the weak euro, exchange rate risk, right? And political risk, you mentioned about Greece yes. in the eurozone. What's the trouble with Greece? Uh, I don't know such is. Yes. So if, if there's a small, very small chance that Greece could leave the Eurozone, right? And then there could be some contagion. Some other country might be, would be a big problem. That's kind of political risk in Europe, right? Anything else? And so France also very confused because Russia and Ukraine. Very hard problem. Okay, so there's a slight problem in the Ukraine that France is also involved in. Yes. Okay. So we can see that we are just looking at the political and economic environment. But generally, France is a developed country. Yes. So the economic and political risk is probably not as high as other yes. developing countries. Right? Did you get some credit rating, credit risk rating for France? Uh, France. Only one of the B grade. B grade is currency risk because you know. B grade is currency, but the rest is A grade. Yes. Credit risk. Yes. Okay, so quite safe country. So if you didn't get to finish, uh, then finish this for the next class. I'll ask one more group at the start of the next class to tell me about their political and economic risk for their country. Okay, and also. You can answer these questions at home. Just a very short question. On Nation Master, you can find out what country has a high enrollment in third level education, right? Try to find on Nation Master. And find the GDP per capita of Malaysia. Okay? So. Just so I'll ask you this question in the next class. Okay? Thank you.